In these exercises, we'll use the distributive property to get rid of the parentheses and then we'll simplify as much as we can. So in this first problem, we have 4 times 7 plus 8. So the first thing we want to do is distribute the 4. So we'll take 4 times 7, which gives us 28. And then we'll take 4 times 8, which gives us 32. And then we just take 28 plus 32, which is 60. Now let's look at negative 1 times 1 minus 2. Again, the first thing that we'll do is distribute the negative 1. So we'll take negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1. And then we'll take negative 1 times negative 2, which is positive 2. So that gives us negative 1 plus 2, which is positive 1. Now we have 12 times 2 plus 1 half. So we'll distribute the 12. We'll multiply 12 by 2, which is 24. And then we'll multiply 12 by a half, which is 6. So we take 24 plus 6, which gives us 30. Now what we want to do is we're going to simplify the expression by getting rid of the parentheses. But this time, we have x in the problem, so we won't be able to simplify as far as we have before. First thing we want to do is multiply 3 times x, which just gives us 3x. And then we multiply 3 times 7, which gives us 21. And we can't take this any farther because we don't know how to add 3x to 21 because we don't know what x is. Let's do another one. Let's take negative 1 half times x plus 4. So we're going to distribute the negative 1 half by multiplying it by the x. That gives us negative 1 half x. And then we need to multiply negative 1 half times 4, which gives us negative 2. So we have minus 1 half x minus 2. Now let's look at 7 times 2x minus 3. So to distribute the 7, we'll take 7 times 2x. That gives us 14x. And then we will take 7 times negative 3, which gives us minus 21.